Honorable Henry Ndochuku Wanwoba Jr. was born into the family of Chief and Lolo Henry Wanwoba, Odarana Daroha I of Amuku Orodo in Imo State. Honorable Wanwoba is a devout Christian and he is married to Mrs. Letton Wanwoba. The marriage is blessed with children. Honorable Wanwoba had his primary and secondary education in Kano State and also obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree at the University of Joss Plateau State. He thereafter quickly left after his youth service in 1993 for the United Kingdom, where he underwent an MSc program in business computing at the Business School of the University of Westminster, Harrow Campus. His leadership capacity dates back to his university days when he played major roles in different student union government activities. His administrative acumen endeared him to the then Executive Governor of Plata State, His Excellency Chief Michael Botman, who appointed him as Special Assistant on Special Duties. After serving in the administration, he travelled to the United Kingdom where he worked and held various positions in international organisations such as City of London Telecommunications UK Limited. Having seen the need to help grow and develop the Nigerian economy, Honorable Waoba, with his associates, founded Fortis Microfinance Bank Limited on the 27th of October 2007, where he served as executive director of the bank. He also served as the managing director, chief executive officer of Fortis Mobile Money Limited. It is worthy of note that Fortis Microfinance Bank is a leading microfinance bank in Nigeria and listed on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange with a capital base in excess of 2 billion naira and a national banking license. Honorable Wawoba is a member of Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, member Registered Professional Financing Reporting Council of Nigeria, member Institute for Business Development. Honorable Wawoba has received a lot of accolades. These include Patron Actors Guild of Nigeria, Patron Owere Sports Club, Ambassador for Peace, Member Police Community Relations Committee, Grand Patron Owere Recreational Club, and so many others. In 2014, the passion and desire to continue his philanthropic gestures, as well as to provide purposeful leadership, aimed at enhancing the living standard of the good people of Mbitoli Keduru Federal Constituency, Honorable Henry Nwawoba, presented himself to run for the coveted seat of member House of Representatives. His outing received tremendous support from all critical stakeholders in Mbitoli and Ikeduru, who unanimously endorsed his candidature under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Well, I ran an aggressive uh, expect more mantra. The mantra was that the people should expect more in terms of representation as uh, you know as well as I do, that the basic job of a lawmaker is the, to make laws uh, and also obviously appropriation and oversight. Over uh, the time that I campaigned in 2015, I told the people, I went to them and I said, look, we can actually do a bit more than we had been doing at the time in terms of attraction of the dividends of democracy. And I was able to convince them, I spoke to them, to their hearts, I, I raised issues of infrastructural deficit in my federal constituency. I thought that it was time for us to send somebody here that would be a voice that uh, would not be shy, that his voice would be heard, and the person would be able to bring the federal constituency among the committee of federal constituencies and, and be vocal so that we can get so much more. Uh, and they believed me. They gave me the chance. I thank God that of all the candidates in 2015, I was privileged to have this rare opportunity to represent my people in the National Assembly. And I have not relented since then in terms of attraction. He was overwhelmingly voted into the Federal House of Representatives by the entire people of Umbike on the 28th day of March 2015, where he earned the respect and love of his colleagues through his continued brilliant presentations in the floor of the House of Representatives. Through his continued brilliant presentations on the floor of the House of Representatives, Honorable Henry Ndochuku Nwawoba has executed many life-transforming projects in his constituency, which includes 
provision of solar powered street lights in Mbeke, taking cognizance to security reasons. Disbursement of microcredit startup capital to Mbeke women to aid ease of doing business. Construction of solar powered borehole in Nese Ikeduru for adequate supply of portable water and the installation of 500 kVA transformer at Umunyali Mbiri timber and allied markets. Renovation of classroom blocks at Comprehensive Secondary School Obaku, Community School Amuku, Community Secondary School Obazu, and renovation of Central School Uzawa. For him, education is the bedrock of every society and therefore should be given top priority. This he took a step further by sponsoring free holiday extramoral classes across Mbiki. Honorable Henry Nwamuba has provided employment opportunities for Mbike youths into the Nigerian Navy, Nigeria Air Force, Nigeria Police, Federal Road Safety Corps, Ministry of Environment, NSITF, and many other federal government ministries, departments, and agencies, all geared towards job creation. Well, I'm a, a developmental economist. Uh, I focus on the life of the people. I believe that every public office should have a direct uh, reflection or impact on the people that uh, they seek to serve. Uh, what I've done is I've focused primarily on the women and the youths uh, in the first one year. I revived a farm in my federal constituency that was being operated by the youths. Uh, I focused on distribution of fertilizers to improve farm products over the first three years, uh, especially over the farming season. And of course, I've done the normal things that I'm supposed to do in terms of empowerment, in terms of job creation, in terms of assisting my constituents get uh, federal job appointments. And uh, in the area of infrastructure too, I have also focused on making sure that anything I can attract uh, in the national budget into my federal constituency annually that I do so. He made medical treatment free for Mbike people while there is a health center under construction for his constituents in Ogwa. He has also embarked on the renovation of Ihitembiri Health Center in Amukuo Rodo Civic Center. Honorable Henry Wanwuba made hospital visits to his constituents a tradition to consolidate on the health insurance scheme he has put in place. The agricultural sector is not left out as Honorable Henry embarked on the procurement and distribution of fertilizers for women in Mbike to boost their farm output towards food sufficiency. He also established in Bitoli Consolidated Youth Federation Farms for the youths in fish farming and egg production. The farm has been running for two years and has started producing and selling eggs and other poultry products at a reduced price to cooperatives. Honorable Henry Mwauba has initiated town hall meetings and dialogue platforms on peaceful coexistence for his constituents and environs. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Honorable Henry Ndochuku Mwauba. The industry called Nigeria needs steady hands. Nigeria must be run by people who have capacity, who have integrity, and who we know where they're coming from and their backgrounds. I say to my people that 2019 to 2023 is going to be a defining moment in our political history. As we evolve politically, there needs to be a corresponding impact on the lives of Nigerians and our people. What I bring is experience, what I bring is proven integrity and capacity to deliver. I think that I have learned this job in a very strong way over the past four years. I'm a strong voice in the National Assembly. I'm a strong voice in the Southeast Caucus. I'm a strong voice in the PDP. When we come back for the second term, I've said to the people to expect more. And indeed, Mbitoli Kedru, alias Mbike, can truly expect more. Across Nigeria, there are unsung heroes and heroines whose selfless services to humanity have saved lives. Some are stories of intelligent organization and collective endeavor. Some are writing the good accounts of individual sacrifices or achievements for the purpose of mankind. The heroic story of Honorable Henry Mwaoba, young, focused politician, a man with salient great achievements as a member representing Mbitoli Ikeduru Federal Constituency, Imo State, in the National Assembly, under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is no doubt 
an indelible mark of positive records in the minds of his people. Henry, whose political ideology and life generally is being good to all individuals that crosses his path, extends support to people not minding whether he has had any mutual official connections. The gentleman lawmaker now has many unsung testimonies of achievements in his three years of stewardship in serving the people of Mbitoli Keduru, touching lives and bringing development to his people. Honorable Henry's idea of representation is to be closer to his electorate. This is owing to the fact that the man Henry has a renewed mandate to serve and deliver again the good governance of his God's enabling grace to the people of Mbitoli Keduru in 2019 and beyond. As the 2019 general election draws near, Honorable Henry Nwauba is urging Nigerians to participate actively in the nation's political process and vote wisely for candidates that could change the standard of living, saying that election could be transactional when people vote candidates based on the promises they made. To the people of Mbitoli Kedru, expect more from me in 2019 and many years to come. I'm prepared to serve with a lot of good tidings to my people. My name is Honorable Henry Mwaoba. I am the member representing Mbitoli Kedru Federal Constituency of Imo State. I put myself forward for re-election. I say to my people that you know me. I am your likable honorable. I'm the man who promises and delivers. I am available. I'm accessible. You trust me and I trust you. I put myself forward for continuity. I believe in ranking and I think our federal constituency would gain a lot more if we return me back to the National Assembly. I therefore urge you all to vote wisely in 2019 in February. Vote for Honorable Henry Mwaba. Vote PDP all the way. Let's make it happen again at this 2019 general elections. Vote PDP. Vote Honorable Henry Ndochuku Mwaba.